Hey guys, Crystal here at Crystal's Crafties. Today I want to share something that I just discovered and that I can't get over. Like, this is so cool. Okay, did you know that Creative Fabrica has their own design platform now? It's called Creative Fabrica Studio. And, you know, before, that's where we would get all of our images and graphics, and then we'd put them in, like, Inkscape or Canva or whatever design program we were going to use. Well, now Creative Fabrica has their own design program, Creative Fabrica Studio. It's really cool, but what I want to share with you, guys, I have found this platform is by far the easiest and simplest way I have found ever to create gradients. I want to show you how to do it. It's really cool, it's really quick, and it's really easy. Okay, so studio. We go to creativefabrica.com slash studio to get into this studio area. And then you can create, um, start designing, create a design, and it'll pull up your design. There are several different dimensions that you can use here. Um, you can grab some templates for whatever you might want to be creating, invitations, brochures, Instagram posts. They have a whole slew of social media templates and stuff on here. They have the Spark AI that you can use um, AI to create graphics. They have their own graphics. Anything that you could think of, you just come and search for in here. Tons and tons of stuff. Text, elements, photos, I mean, this works like any other design program that you're going to come across. But what I want to show you guys is the gradient tool. Oh, I was blown away when I saw it. So I'm just going to click on text. Um, I'm just going to add some heading text. Um, let's see, so that gives me a text box. I'm going to double click into it and just type out my name. And then I'm going to come up here and change the font. Um, there's a lot of fonts in here, but the one that I want to do today, I thought this one was just kind of fun. Let me go find it. Um, here we go. So there's a lot of these Rubik fonts. This one, this Rubik wet paint, I just thought looked kind of cool. I'm going to shrink this text box to more closely fit my text. I just grabbed a handle to shrink it. Now I'm just going to increase the size so that you can see it easily. Okay, so all of that's pretty basic, right? We picked a font, typed in our word, made it larger. Let's put a gradient on this. Okay, so here are all your text tools. As soon as you click text, it will open up the text toolbox for you. This is where we selected our um, font, and you can, you know, make it bold, italic, underline, all of these other things. I'm control Zing out of that because I don't want any of that. Here is where you pick your text color. Okay, so um, let's just start. You can pick from the colors here, so I could like just pick this blue. Um, you can use your slider wheel and pick what you want. You can use the color picker if you have a design and you're trying to match the color. You grab the color picker and you go match whatever color you want. If you know your color's code, you can type it in there. All of that, again, is pretty standard. Um, so I'm going to just start with this blue here. And now we're on this solid box. If you click the gradient box, it's going to pull up the gradient tool. Now that's where things get a little confusing if you're not super familiar with your design software or gradients and how they work. This one, oh, I love it. So easy. Okay, so we clicked gradient. And you can already see it did a little bit of the gradient for the blue that I had selected. Let me show you how easy this is to work with. So right now it has one color change right here. I'm going to add one here where my mouse is just by clicking. And I'm going to add another one here just by clicking. I'm just clicking on the line and it is adding these color stops for me. You can add as many as you want. You can add them wherever you want. Okay, now let's work on changing their colors. So this first one is that blue right there that we selected. I want to change the color of the next one, so I'm going to click it. And there's several ways we can do it. I can drag the color slider up and down so you can already see the gradient that's coming in here. If I do it this way, I can take this one and I can drag it down. And then this one, and I'll drag it up a little. Oh, that was a little too much. 
and then this one and I'll drag it up a little bit more. So I'm just moving up and down the color line to create that gradient. Did you see how quick that was? Super simple, right? There's other ways you can create this gradient as well. So I'm gonna come back up here to my color box and my gradients are already here. If I just delete all this, it's gonna take me back. Let me get rid of that one too. Whoops, I hit backspace. That was apparently not the right thing to do. My whole design is gone. No worries, I can quickly get it back. Okay, my design is back. Okay, so here's my color box. I'm gonna scroll down, I'm gonna hit the gradient. I don't want a black gradient. I'm gonna turn it back to this blue color here. And then I'm gonna add in some more stops just like we did before. And now, instead of sliding here, I'm going to scroll up a little bit and I'm just gonna use the um, color box up here to reshade it where I think I want it. And then this one, I think I want some pinks. So I'm gonna slide that up to pink, and then I'm going to reshade the pink. And do you see as I'm moving the cursor, it is changing the look of this. And then this one, um, let's do pink as well. And then maybe the last one will stop at another blue. So up into here, uh, let's do that. And this one here will bring back to blue. And let's see. Okay, now that's not enough blue for my liking. So what I wanna do is this stop, I wanna bring it down so that it brings more blue back into the design. Did you see that? I'm just moving the stops down so that more blue comes into the design. So it's that simple, guys. I love this gradient tool. This is the easiest one I've ever seen to use. It is awesome. Um, a couple other things, if you want to add um, a border, you would just click here on your border, come grab a border color. Black is probably the best border color. And then you, know, you can use your slider to make that border however thick you want it. You can use the transparency slider here to make your uh, design more or less transparent. And turn that border off actually. Zero border. When you're done with your design. Sorry, I'm gonna jump back in really quick in the middle of this video because I forgot to show you how easy it is to create different size designs. So here we are on the main studio page. We're just gonna hit start designing and then add a new design. And when you do this, it will bring up all of the different um, templates that are already in studio to size your items exactly how you need them to be. Um, for the social media posts, when you select one of these, it makes your post the exact size needed for that particular um, media. Something else that's really cool, these print on demands, if you um, typically sell t-shirts from Printful or t-shirts from Printify, the dimensions are already in here. You don't have to resize anything. I'm gonna do this all over print from Printify. If I select that and then create the design, it will pull up the exact specific size that Printify needs that design to be for their platform. Add a new design, and again, we're right back here. Social media posts, online digital, Google ads. Um, these are like popular card sizes for weddings, save the dates, and invitations. Your print items, you have your standard A4 letter document, um, photo book. You know, if you're making a collage of photos and you're doing a photo book. So there are several things in here that you can quickly jump to the correct size. Um, I wanted to show you how to get to that because I didn't really show that in the video, but now let's hop back into the video. You click share, 
You can export it um, or you can download it, whichever you want to do for wherever you're wanting to take it. But guys, I love this. Go check out Creative Fabrica Studio. I'll leave a link in the description and work on these gradients because they are fun and easy. All right, guys, we'll see you next time.